Hi, it's Heather across the fence farm. This is a pretty amazing video showing what is happening in the middle of December and the effects of an El Nino, quote, winter, unquote. So stay with me for a lot of surprises through the end of this video. And if it's something that gives you new information or is inspiring or helps you fall back in love with the earth, click that like button, add your comments and any questions, and do please hit subscribe. Love to have you follow along. So check this out. Again, middle of December, snapdragons are blooming with new growth happening on the plant. New buds here. <laughs> and parsley, doing great. Happy, happy, happy. Even lobelia blooming. What the heck? New growth coming up on the yarrow. And of course, the very, very happy Rosemary, as always, who also has some lovely flowers coming out. It is like 55 degrees today, clear skies, gorgeous sun, absolutely beautiful. December 16th. But wait, there's more. Strawberries blooming. This is one of my wild ones, one of my very, very prolific ones. One of the mini roses is beginning to bud, which eh, it's still a little way early for that, but you know. And we have sorrel with brand new growth coming up because it's not been cold enough to completely die it off and artichokes these are always growing in winter but you know they've got lots of new fronds coming on and also not unusual you can see some garlic coming up and more garlic coming up I came out to look and see what the status is of snowdrops, which is always such a delight. So let's see what's happening in that department. And yippee, goody, goody. Let's uncover what's going on here. These are snowdrops. Right there. Absolutely great. One of the best things about winter. Another one popping up here. Sweet white flowers. Yeah, this is an area of the yard and so it's pretty darn packed with snowdrops. Another one here. Sweet. Here is what is really wild. This is red sails lettuce, a very delicate, somewhat reddish mottled, wonderfully tender lettuce. These are growing from the seed that my lettuces dropped from last summer's plants. Got some chard here, a red chard. I just keep them in the ground. I mean. These beautiful leaves are all edible. Why put them in compost if you can eat it? And then more red sails. A few more right here. <laughs> crazy, crazy. And then check this out. Here are the two romaine starts I put in the ground. Uh, probably. October sometime, they were closeouts, organic romaine lettuce starts on closeout from one of the garden centers. 
you know, they got to move it on. If somebody doesn't buy it, it's just going to get thrown in the trash. So, look at this. I got fresh, mo fresh romaine growing to enjoy. Because it's not been cold enough. And I also have my... I've taken it out of the bed right now. But there's my tent for these gentle greens that if I see that it's going to be way below freezing, I'll put it up and then put that little tent over them so that they don't freeze. But check it out. I mean, look at this. Look at this beautiful chard growing. Now, it's not growing as fast as it would in the summertime because it doesn't have the heat. But these are beautiful and totally can be gathered right now. Put in a stir fry or a salad. Woohoo! And then, yeah, my sad kale. That one really had a hard time trying to get him happy. But look at this one. It's good. It's good. And this one, I'm going to treat these with some neem oil. I'm going to do a def another video on that. But I want to get rid of some white flies that came in. Yeah. So, yeah, you can, depending on what planting zone you're in, you can have greens and other fresh foods out of your garden. Even if you don't have an El Nino going on. So stay tuned for more tips. But this is one of the big ones. Is check out garden centers at the end of the growing season to see what you might be able to pick up for practically nothing and extend your fresh foods out of your garden with. And why should these dear little plants, of course they were not this size at all, they've grown considerably. They had maybe like maybe three or four leaves on them when I got them. So this is all new growth. All new growth here. Happy gardening and sustainable living. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.